In this presentation we're going to look at how to convert decimal numbers to uh, hexadecimal numbers even to decimal form. So what we're going to do is convert the hexadecimal number E5.D4 into decimal form. So the first thing we're going to do is sort of split it up a bit. So we're going to put a bit of space in here. Uh, so where I have all those letters in red, I sort of put in a bit of space there first to put in these powers of 16. So I have e by 16 to the power of 1 plus 5 times 16 to the power of 0. I have that des uh, that radix point there, decimal point is what people would commonly call it, but correctly it's called a radix point when you're dealing with other types of number systems. d by 16 to the minus 1 t plus 4 by 16 to the minus 2. Essentially what I'm doing here is I'm using this as a sort of boundary and I'm sort of dealing with each case separately. Uh, each of these uh, four uh, characters separately. Now let me talk about the radix point here first. So the radix point, the power of 16, because we're dealing with hexadecimal that's why it's the power of 16. The one that's immediately to the left of uh, the radix point, that gets, six, that gets the power of 0. So that's why that's a 0 there. To the left of that, a 1, and if if we were dealing with more uh, characters here, there would be 2, 3, forwards moving, uh, moving towards the left. Uh, towards the right hand side of the radix point, we go minus 1 here, minus 2 here, and again if we were to continue, minus 3, minus 4. So that's why we have 16 to the power of 1, 16 to the power of 0, 16 to the power of minus 1, and 16 to the power of minus 2. Again, these are the positions relative to the radix point. Now, so what we have to do here is uh, simplify all of these expressions here. So what we're going to do is, that's it there now, uh, so what we're going to do is get the uh, decimal equivalents of each of these four characters. So E is 14, 5 is simply 5, D is, sim is 13, and again 4 is simply 4. Now, what we're going to do is simplify each of these expressions here. Uh, so we have 14 by 6, uh, that's equal to 224, okay, 224. 5 by 1 is simply 5. Now get the calculators out. 13 by 16 to the power of uh, minus 1, that's, a that's essentially 13 divided by 16. That is 0 0.8125. And lastly, 4 by 16 to the power of minus 2. That's 4 divided by 16 squared, or 4 divided by 256. And what we get there is 0 0.015625. Now, uh, just, as a, just as a comment, the radix point here is just really sort of just to sort of get a sense of where everything is. And the radix point isn't being uh, used uh, in the, the conventional sense yet. I'm just using it as a sort of uh, a reference point to uh, help me sort of um, orientate myself. Now what we're going to do is continue on with this. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to add 224 and 5, we get 229. So that's the integer part of the number we're looking for. And let's get the fractional part there. Uh, what I have to do is add those two fractional numbers, 0 0.8125 and 0 0.01565. I get 0 0.828125. And to finish off, all I have to do is add those two numbers together, 229 and 800, 0.828125, uh, that's my number there, 229.828125. So that's our answer there, uh, E5.D4 when in, in hexadecimal form is 229.828125 when we are talking about uh, hex uh, decimal form. So that's hexadecimal there and that's decimal there. Okay, that ends the presentation.